Hello, welcome to Endemic Times. My name is Amira. There's been some recent developments and a little bit of good news on the food shortage front. The first shipments of Ukraine grain have left and they are now on their way to Ethiopia and other parts of Africa and the Middle East. The New York Times has recently reported that the Brave Commander, a Lebanese flagged freighter, is the first ship specially chartered by the World Food Program as part of an effort to direct much needed grain to countries affected most by food shortages caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. This shipment will eventually make its way to Ethiopia. Last year, Ukrainian grain is estimated to have fed 400 million people. Prices have soared and tens of millions of people, mostly in the Middle East and Africa, have been put at risk of famine. At least five countries are now experiencing famine-like conditions and another 20 are on the watch list for famine. On August 1st, the first ship loaded with Ukrainian harvest departed the port of Odessa following an agreement brokered by the United Nations and Turkey to allow the export of roughly 20 million tons of grain that had been stuck in Ukrainian silos since the beginning of the war. As I have discussed in other videos related to the food crisis and the famines that are occurring in multiple countries, that this grain is finally on its way and is moving to these affected areas is a very good thing. However, there are still a lot of concerns when it comes to the cost and the ability of people that are in desperate need to be able to afford these necessities. At least eight ships have successfully traversed the mined waters of the Black Sea to deliver grain to Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. As Ukraine provides a lot of food to a lot of different regions, it is great to see that these supplies are finally making their way out of the ports and going to these most affected areas. The biggest concern though is still going to be the cost of this grain and the other supplies that are likely going to be provided on these ships uh, because as we know there is pretty much a global crisis when it comes to the general cost of living, the cost of food, the cost of basic necessities that are required to live and it is those very factors that are causing so many different regions especially in Africa and the Middle East that are being deeply affected by famine as well as drought and just kind of the general state of our current world. So some good news, it's good to see this, but we will continue to be paying attention to the supplies coming out of Ukraine and hopefully there is enough that can be provided to the countries in Africa and the Middle East that are in such desperate need. Thank you so much for watching. You can check out more videos related to the food crisis playlist right here. Stay safe, take care, and remember to be kind to each other.